Hi everyone, welcome to Bonsai Expression. I'm Christoph, and today I'm working on this English privet. Look at this. Now, it's big, but it's not that big. So I grew this from a cutting. Say, so over in the UK, this is a hedge. And I'm just walking by, got myself one of these, little snips. And I stuck it in some soil. And I grow this. It's just on my nose, sorry. And um, last year I did a, uh, a video on it. And when it came to editing, it just corrupted and I couldn't do any sort of video for you guys and I couldn't put it out. So I'm awfully sorry about that. But today we're going to look at it and give it a good trim. Um, because I've just let it grow and it's a hedge. And that's all it is. But we're trying to get it into a bonsai. So we need to do some sort of styling for it. So I'm just going to cut it right back and um, yeah, try to get it into some sort of pre-bonsai style. That's the idea anyways. Um, as I say, they're a hedge over here. That's all they're used for basically. Um, not much else for them. They're not fandangled or anything like that. They're cheap. They're hardy. They're uh, an evergreen and um, they're basically bomb proof. I don't think I've seen anyone kill them. I've got it. I've got a privet. Um, you've seen it. Well, let me show you. This is my privet I got from the Birmingham Bonsai Show this year, and it's doing quite well. It's even got a couple of weeds in it. Let me get rid of them. So it's doing quite well. So this is a little update for you as well on this one. Um, it's even just like this one here. It's put some flowers on. It's just about to, it's just about to bloom in flowers. So, on this one, we did a repot, and if you want to know how the repot went, if it's putting on flowers, it's doing really well. So there you go. It's even that little shoot that was there. I didn't knock it off, and it's doing really well. So, there we go. If it ever stops raining for more than two days over here, I still need to put the hardener on this one. So let me put it back and we'll get to this one. If you also notice the leaf size. So there we go. Leaf size compared to that. That's because this has just been let to grow and this has been in training. Very important. So, where were we? Leaf size, yes. So, leaf size. You can reduce leaf sizes by training a bonsai. The more training you do, the smaller you get your leaves. And that's with any trees. Although, you can't always get them tiny, tiny. If you're going to start off with something like a sycamore, you know, the, the leaves are really big. Like, bigger than my hand. I've got a sycamore. Then they started off like, like this, but they are about the size of my hand currently. So, a little trick for you. Bonsai will reduce the leaves, but only by a certain amount. Uh, I'm waffling now. <laughs> Let's get back to this. We're going to start working on this today, and we're going to reduce it. We're going to get rid of all this foliage, which is a shame because, as I say, this is coming out into flower as well. If you can see just here. Um, so I'm not going to see this flower. I've never seen this flower because I've always trimmed it. And it would be nice to see it flower, but uh, we're trying to make a bonsai, not a hedge. So I'm going to leave that one though. I want to see the flowers on that. So I'm going to stop waffling and I'm going to put you on the uh, stand. And I'm covered in mud now. And we're going to do a trim on this and get a video made today. So let's go. Now, if you get you in down there, I'm just going to take this one out here. It's going in across, across the front line anyway, so you don't want to see that. And I'll take this one out as well. It's going across the trunk line. They're not going to be used. So if you can see there, you can see the trunks themselves. They're not massively thick. Um, that's my thumb in reference. My thumb clears it completely. So. I am going to start by taking that off completely and I will use this one here 
because it goes up and I've got this tiny little branch here and I'm going to use that as my first branch. I don't know if this, these are separate trees. I can't remember. I think this is a separate tree, but I can't remember or not if it's one tree and then I, I took another cutting and put them in or not. I think this might be a separate tree and I think this might be the first branch. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember what I did. I'm going to treat it as if it's all one tree. I'm going to treat that as a branch. I'm going to treat that. Whether it will be a tree or not, I'm going to treat it as part of the same, same planting. And then if it's the same tree or not, I'm going to treat it as one planting. And then we're going to work on it as such. So that's the idea. So you can see what I'm working with. So this section here, I'm just going to remove this bit as well. I'm just going to open it right up. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to bring the tree level to somewhat here. So I'm just going to come in and just take this top layer off. Just so we can see what we're working with. Bring it down. How much of the tree can you see? Let's move you up a little bit. There you go. So if I just come in. I know I'm not going to need all this. And the tree is just in my way. Yeah, that works a little bit. The tree's a little bit smaller. And you can somewhat see it. So, out of those trees. So, if I'm looking down here, this branch here comes up, I've got a nice little one here, and then I've got a branch that comes off the back, and then this goes up and goes across here. I'm not, I'm not going to use this top part. This grows across. This is definitely going, and this is growing across into this branch here. I will be using this part of the branch. This part is coming off. So, I'm going to come in from the back, I'm going to spin it around, come in from the back. There we go, opens it up, this back branch is way too long, I'm just going to cut it there, same pair of leaves, we'll trim all that off. Okay, let's cut back. Can't see through this tree at the moment. So what I think I will do is spin you around. I've got a pair of leaves here. I don't want that going too far out, so I'm just gonna cut back to it. Just there. As you can see, I've got these leaves going in both directions. I'm just gonna cut, leave it to there. Gives me the option. I cut back to this one. I know it's pretty long. But it will pop these buds here. As then pop, I'll bring it back then. But for now, we'll just cut it to there. I'm going to move up. Clear that off. I've got all these going in this section here. We need to get rid of as well. That's going to swell. Move back into this tree. I'm going to take this section off completely. And then bring it back. Will it bring it back that far? Quite a heavy branch. Let's take that branch off completely. It's quite heavy. So 
got nice little branches here, here and here. If I leave the branch on, it's just too heavy for the rest of the design. Not sure if they're dead or not. That one needs to go, it's underneath. That one's in the crotch. Let's cut that one back, just there. This one's on the inside, so I'm just gonna have to get rid of that. This one's going right across, so we need to remove it. And we've got this one, it's very heavy. And it comes up, I'm just gonna take it off. There for now. This whole section, I'm gonna cut right back. I'm gonna bring it all the way back to that branch. I like where that branch is going. Just there at the back. And I'm going to lose this top section as well. I'll bring that back. This one, I'll bring it round. I think I might lose the whole top section as well. Main trunk comes up. Not too sure whether I'm gonna want this to be staying or not. Probably gonna cut it off there. I'm not 100% sure, but for now I'm gonna leave it. I do like it. Not, I don't entirely like this branch. Probably gonna lose it. But I do like the way this this branch comes off at the, bot, at the bottom here. This main tree as well, it's all set, ready to go, got the leader here, got these branches, got this second branch, comes along, you're looking in just here, everything's all nice and tight, and I've got a branch giving it that fear as well. So that's all we're set up, set ready to grow again, and you've got to remember when you're doing all this work, I know it's all a big shrub, but when you're doing this work, you're setting up for the future, you're not setting up for right now. So, it's set up, ready to go again. We're gonna to have to come back for come back to it in a few months, few weeks as it starts growing. I will show you. Just look how much I've just took it off. It's an awful lot, but we're setting it up for the future. So there you go. Main tree, main branch, just in the middle there. So if that is the tree, with its own own leader this there if not it's a branch the main tree in the center you've got a branch here and then the third tree just over here all the lining up as I say I'm not entirely sure about this branch I don't really like it right, I'm just gonna snip it off a little bit more See what becomes of it. But there you go. Set ready for fall growth. Future growth incoming. The English privet all done. Got to remember when we're doing these trees and they start off as big shrubs, you are doing these for the future, so they're gonna look really, really bare. But don't worry, you're planning for the future tree. So the future tree is gonna put extra growth on and it's gonna look fantastic. Get the bones right and the tree will be right anyway if you enjoyed this video please do give me a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys it really helps me out and then um, i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching everybody see you now bye everyone